this is Denise from Sue's Art and wow what a day um, first day new job very exciting but as promised I want to try uh, the vitriol Quibo which is a glass lightning agent on this wood to see if we can make an alcohol ink friendly surface how cool is that I mean this this bottle is heaping full of ounces uh, 8.45 uh, for under $17 and if you could turn any surface that is not uh, applicable for alcohol inks into an alcohol ink surface how cool is that <laughs> I don't know start for oh, I have cork I have cork uh, that's my beeper one second I have some fine brew in the freezer trying to chill. So. <laughs> all right, um, so I want to show you, um, I'm going to do this in a couple of little parts and blend them all together. Um, real quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to paint this on to the wood surface. Let's get down here and have some fun. <laughs> Dude, ah, you can see. Woo. All right, this is the product. Um, again, we've talked about this several times. Um, I left a link in my other uh, video if you need a link I'll be more than happy to give you another one and hey guys um if you watch the video and you like what you're seeing leave me a comment um that'd be so cool if you do use this product be sure to wipe it because it literally turns into a plastic yes a plastic which is why when I pulled the cap off yesterday for the first time I realized I could could maybe use this <laughs> in alcohol inks okay so we have a nice little pile down here it's a very very strong smelling stuffs so use really good ventilation we're gonna give it a nice coat I want this one to have a nice thick coat um, I don't expect that this is going to um, absorb into the wood but I could be wrong because I don't know what I'm doing I just know that uh, using this on a, a board yesterday um, on a canvas board that I got at the dollar store uh, created amazing effects okay it worked um, didn't work the board everything's good um, so I'm going to go ahead and generously lay this down I don't mind if this is a little sticky when we get working on it because when it was wet, um, when it was wet, I'm not going to put this up there because I think you guys can see that. It gave me cells. Those are cells. Now when it was dry, I also got some cells in there and that was really cool. I mean cells in, um, in alcohol ink that weren't determined by the spray of another alcohol ink was uh, that was quite uh, surprising to me I mean it, those cells in this here look like an acrylic pour like you would get from silicone in acrylic inks I thought it was, cool. was kind of cool so I'm just making sure that every bit of this is covered and it has a nice little flow to it. Looks really good. All right, very stinky, guys. So if you think about, um, what does that smell like? Uh, really strong shoe polish. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so um, anyway, here it is. That's exactly what it smells like. I, I use this um, for my uh, my trees, uh, my uh, glue gun trees, to give them some depth and darkness uh, in their whatever, and it worked out really good, but it smells just like that. Really stinky, very highly flammable, you don't want to be around a flame. It had a little, little thingy in there. Um, <laughs> I have six cats and 
believe it or not, I'm able to keep 99.9% .9 of their hair out of my stuff. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. Yes, I do. Right here. <laughs> I spray it in the air and they go flying. <laughs> That's when I got to cover everything too because when they go flying, so does their hair. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you back in a little bit when this is all nice and dry. And uh, I'm going to put it in the safe room uh, away from the cats. <laughs> And I'll see you back here. Heart to you. Ciao, Bella. Okay, guys. So it's been, uh, I don't know, maybe two hours. Um, I've had dinner. It was cool. Um, the wood is a little sticky. Um, maybe you can see that it has a, a glare. See that? It's got like a shine to it. Um, eh, it's that shine that uh, that is apparently allowing the ink to, um, to sit. So... What we're gonna do is play. Uh, this again is just an experiment. Um, this is a this is a this glass lightning lightning medium on different surfaces that um, alcohol inks apparently really enjoy being on. Um, I was hoping to do the paint this last night and have it completely plasticized before I came in today, uh, but. Um, I got really tired and it was my first day on the new job and so you know you're nervous you're like okay I'm just gonna go to bed <laughs> but uh, today went great and um, I got uh, my manager's cards to hand out already I'm so happy um, so let's go ahead and just experiment I'm gonna do some spraying with uh, with my um, my Cali Art pen inks which are really beautiful They've had time to sit. Um, these are some colors from my Sharpies, which have had plenty of time to sit. They're beautiful. I'm also going to use uh, Jacquard's Pinatas. Um, they're gorgeous. Can't get away from it. Going to use some blender solution, alcohol, an air gun, and I'm going to show for some that, that don't have air guns how they can also achieve um, the same kind of effects with what I call my cat be gone which is a can of air. Uh, it gets messy, so I did forget to, to uh, paper towels, a girl's best friend. <laughs> Especially around electronics, I seem to make a mess of everything. <laughs> I uh, spent a couple hours of my husband, when I built this desk, this is my spot. My computer is here. I think the desk is about uh, four feet, almost five feet wide. Uh, spans, um, I told you it was about 10 feet, but it's actually 12 feet. And my husband's desk is right there. His little notch is right across the way. And he has his speakers right here. You hear that? <laughs> and uh, I, I hosed everything down one day with alcohol inks. And oh my gosh, was he just a little... Uh, could you be some more careful over there? So, so I cleaned them all up the other day. They look brand new. Except I don't think I'm ever going to be able to fix the burn, the melting from my first epoxy resin and, and my my little gun torch here thingy. So yeah, no, I can't take that away. But I did buy them those speakers years ago and I can buy them some new ones. Yep, yeah, we are. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this going. Um, I'm going to start with, uh, again, some flowing up forward. I'm going to do a lighter uh, forest green. And I'm going to just pour it on here because these are sprays. And I think it'd be really pretty. Oh. Now I do see that it's reacting in a way that it would on Yopo, which is kind of cool. It shouldn't be flowing down because I did the... Why do I do these funky shapes? Because again, um, there's to me they're so organic and they're so beautiful, and it's just what my forest is asking me for. So on top of this, I'm going to go ahead and add because uh, these inks are basically for sprays, but I thought I'd bring them out. I thought I got no, I did not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a little bit of brown over here 
These are, uh, this is a Sharpie Brown. You see the blending is really nice. You see how that's blending right into the, to the blue. Okay. <laughs> it wants to vibrate right off the table. <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Um, this forest green is going to be very strong, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready with some alcohol. And unlike yesterday, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take this lid and put it right over there. I know where it is. <laughs> it kept getting in my way yesterday. Okay. Wow, the fractalizing is crazy. It's like doing little dendrite thingies. It's so cool. Oh, air. Uh, this wood behind it is absolutely stunning. Um, it, it really adds to uh, like a forest kind of feel. Really cool. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to put three dots in here. Okay, four. That, that was a double. And um, let's use some blending solution. I don't know if you can see this, but they're, they're kind of making little dendrites. Put two drops in each. Three in the three dropper. Go. There. We're going, Captain. We're going. We're going up. We're going up. We're going over. Ow, ow, ow. Where are you going? Ah, ah. <laughs> that is so much fun. Okay. That is really, really, really cool. Um, guys. I've turned a porous material into um, an aggregate for alcohol inks. All right, so let's do let's do some more of this green down here with the um, with the blender solution. What I'm noticing with the blender solution, I couldn't figure it out yesterday, is which one was giving the cells. And it's the blender solution. It's not only giving cells, but it's giving feathers within the, the pieces. It's crazy. Two drops in each. Oh, point it in the right direction, Denise. Not that I needed air or anything. Coming out, We're coming out, coming out, going up, going up. All right, we're going to do a few more of those right down here. Wow, those tiny little things are so cute. I'm going to put two drops this time in each one. Layering is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. Um, let's go ahead and lighten this up. Um, I have some uh, orange from my Sharpies. Sharpie oranges. And I'm going to go ahead and, and put those right on top of the green. It's more of a translucent color, 
but he's definitely playing with the other colors underneath. Picking up those colors and moving with them. This is really, really cool. Okay. Hush. Hush. Alright, so this looks really good. This is blowing a little bit with this extra air. Uh, kind of like, kind of give you an idea what we got going on here. Again, this is just a doodle and an, and an experiment to see if our alcohol inks are going to go ahead and move on um, this medium. And um, this is a, a this is a birch wood frame. It's a eight eight and a half by eleven and a half, or nine and a half by eleven and a half. No, nine and a half by twelve and a half. Oh my bad. <laughs> and I bought it for my eight by tens, so I could uh, put lights on the inside. Now I've got a bunch of them. So um, if this experiment didn't work out, I would uh, I would easily just paint over this and then again use use the underneath but I really like what's going on so um, again it's an experiment so I want to use uh, some sprays uh, this is a bitter wood um, these are uh, another form of Cali art pens they call them true touch but t trust me it's all from the same company oh I'm going to blow this just a little bit, dry it, why not? We can move around, whatever we can move around, going to get to it. This is creating cells. Not just the little dots that you normally see when you spray alcohol, it's literally creating cells. Like that have names. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cellular. <laughs> I gotta try and show you what this is doing. So, uh, I know my um, my camera really, really stinks, guys, and I'm so sorry about that. So, I just kinda gotta go in slowly um, and hope that maybe you see the cells. Going in slowly. Slowly. Can you see? It's so pretty. <laughs> okay. I come out really slow. Because I know it messed up my video last time. Um, saving up for a really inexpensive um, overhead camera. I'll just go to meet. <laughs> Alright. Now, I want to redefine some spaces here. Uh, and of course, I want to use purple. No, I can't right now. <laughs> I have to wait for my turn. Okay. Um, we use the brown. Okay, let's go back to the orange because it's really cool. Always make sure that you have your inks closed before you shake them up. <laughs> Good thing I have gloves on. Did I tell you what I did the other day? Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, so I had a big piece of uh, magic eraser. It was a big, big, long piece, all filled with ink, and I realized it was too big for the piece. So I cracked it in half, and all that ink went up in my face. <laughs> my glasses, my ears, my nose, my face, and it was the day before I go to my first job. <laughs> I was laughing so hard, the husband had to come into the bathroom to see what was up, and there I was, uh, using 91% alcohol on my face <laughs> to get rid of the ink. It was so funny. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna put some of this orange down here. Oh, it's gorgeous what it's doing up in there. Um, I don't know if I pulled out. So now let's put some pinata orange down and um, kind of get uh, a deeper contrast. Pinata is a very strong, strong ink, and what I'm using is not as strong. 
it's uh, more more of a thinned out egg. So let's add some blender solution. Ask her to go on up into the canopy a little bit. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. All right. <laughs> let's do the same over here. Again with some blender solution. Up you go, honey. All right. Woo! <laughs> Slide! Woo! Oh, this one has a lot to talk about, doesn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. Since we're having some fun, um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, add some red to this puppy. Uh, this again is pinata. It's a very strong color. Um, I do have strong inks, but being that this is a test and a lot of you don't make your own, I want I want to be I want to be using pinatas, or, which is uh, the least expensive of the ink lines, the alcohol ink lines that you can get. Oh, the red is very happy. I'm going to put a little orange down here. Some more of this uh, blending solution. Those are my two colors when they mix. Woo! Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> Walk the paint. Walk the paint. Uh, let's add a little alcohol now. Just to bring out those colors underneath. Look at that guy, he's so funny. Alright guys, um, this is all I'm going to do for this video. I'm going to go ahead and do a part two. I'm going to leave it here with the small part one and this one. And um, I'll see you back here in un momentito after this is uploaded. And I'll have a, a part two for you. Ciao, bella. See you in a few.